Hi, welcome to Pastor Paints. I'll be attempting Wartburg Castle today. Well, at least a, a version of it. Um, this is really, this is going to be a line-in picture, a line-in painting. I'm going to use a sort of an ink, ballpoint ink pen to start with my lines. Um, I'm loosely basing this on uh, part of part of the, uh, the Wartburg Castle. This is where our Martin Luther uh, hid from his persecutors and translated part of the New Testament into um, German. And uh, so this is a, a German castle. So I'm modeling this after, after Wartburg, but we'll see how this goes. So I've already sketched out um, the actual building itself. And so now I'm just putting in my lines and um, this is just a very rough sketch here and I just want to get my lines right and try to get myself a nice little a nice little uh, sketch to work from and that should be good really enjoy this style of of painting this line in style you can really uh, there are certainly some paintings you know watercolor paintings that are are more built on uh, and just the paints kind of um, creating their own edges but I, I really like the the sharp edges that are created by the by the pen you know, once this dries and once you're able to add color, it's just, it really pops out. It's a really nice looking painting. So I've seen lots of paintings that are like this, and I really, I really appreciate this style quite a bit. Now, that's a little bit messy for me, but I am going to... I don't, I wanted to get rid of some of those lines before I get to the watercolor. It's <laughs> a good start. The nice thing about paint is that you can really, uh, you can have fun and create some, some neat work, you know, and it's not, I mean, I'm basing this on Wartburg, but, you know, if it doesn't turn out exactly like Wartburg, that's all right, you know, I really, uh, I really enjoy just creating things, and, and I've been saying, for a while now that the whole point of this is to to have some fun and uh, to try to relax and I'm a pastor so in the past my leisure has consisted of <laughs> reading more books so I'm trying to expand my horizons in the way of creativity and find ways to relax. There's your windows on the side there. And let's see. Now, this this is not going to be a... Uh, yeah, a full... a full painting of it, because there's so much to this um, to this sketch. I mean, the, the castle itself is pretty, pretty large. 
big piece of property. So I'm only going to get a small piece of it. You know, and I don't, I don't mind that my lines are kind of going squirrely over here. It's not that big of a deal to me. Actually, I'm going to bring this out a smidge. As I'm going away from my center, my, my lines are not as not as distinct. And that's okay. It's kind of a stylistic thing that I enjoy. Now, the way this castle looks, if you look at the original picture here that I'm using, which is just a, just a picture of the castle itself, if you were to look at it, you would see that um, there's a there are several kind of layers of bricks here. There's there's bricks coming up and down the sides that are yellow, and then the center is like a like a regular brick color, like a burgundy almost. And I've I've attempted this painting before, and I was not thrilled with how it came out. Mostly because I I wasn't sure what to do with the um, with the bricks and how to get them done the way I liked, and so um, I think I'm actually going to make that dark there. There we go, I'll do that, that'll be good. And uh, then I'm going to go darker here in the center. Create the illusion of some some brick layers. I'm gonna go, go like this. Pull these down. I'll go and create that little lip there. lines this way. That'll create like a nice little effect here. It's not exact, but it'll, you know, it looks almost like bricks. And then when I go to, um, you know, to mess with my color here, you'll see that there's going to be a major difference in the color, but I think that this will possibly sell it. Again, I'm not really too worried about the, the shape of it. There we go, good enough. I'm gonna go like this for a couple up here. A couple up here. Over there, and over there. There. That's a good start. It's not too, uh, not too shabby there. And then I'm going to have some, some color going that way, and that's a 
good start. All right, I got my lines. Now let's bring in my paints, see how I do. All right, so bringing in some, some water and I wanna start mixing up these colors. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my, my sky. What I wanna do is I wanna, just wanna wet, wet the paper. I wanna be careful to not wet into my actual drawing first. I just wanna wet into the, the outside of it. Here. And I want to take a little bit of my blue. Just, just creating a little bit of sky. It's not much. I do want to pull it down right to the edge here. So I do want to create sky that goes right, make it a little bit darker toward the base there, kind of fill it in. But once it goes farther out, I'm not really going to worry as much about it. that are a little bit darker there. I learned those little splatters from uh, uh, Peter Scheeler. He likes the splatters. It's like a stylistic thing. He really just uh, kind of adds some some tone to it. So, all right, so I've got my sky. I'm happy with that so far. I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna create, uh, let's see, I think I wanna, well, I wanna, you always wanna go light to dark. So I think I'm gonna start with my with my yellow. So I'm mixing up some yellow here. And I want this to be kind of like a dirty, uh, almost like a mustard yellow. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of, a little bit of brown. Maybe yellow that up a little bit more. my I have a test paper here so I usually take my test paper and just take a look at it that's like kind of like a mustardy yellow and I, I think I like that actually so I'm going to rinse off my larger brush and I want to go for a smaller brush here because I want to do some some detail work here with this and all I'm doing is I'm just going to bring that up the edge just my yellow bricks here. So I'm gonna start on the inside because that's uh, that's the driest point. And um, this top section, that's all yellow. If you don't like how that's going, you just pull the color back out with your finger. You can even, you can do it with your, with your brush. You can do it with your finger. You just pull it right back out, not a big deal. Again, you know, I, I'm, it's kind of a, I'm sort of doing a sloppier take on this because, you know, frankly, I just, uh, it doesn't need to be precise. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create the illusion of just some bricks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
change it up in a second here, but. So I'm only, I'm not even worried about my the lines of it. I'm just taking some, some strokes, bring it all the way down to the bottom. And uh, I'm not even concerned about how that's all looking. I'm just gonna bring these bricks right down. That should be a nice little effect there. Right to the bottom. And then I'm gonna do, uh, I'll do the other side. Now I wanna be careful not to, not to touch this wet edge because if I do, my color just drains right out of it. It's gonna seep right out. So I don't want that. I wanna stay as close to my line as possible without going over. I have made so many mistakes, my color bleeding through. So I don't, I don't want that. Looks like some of it already has kind of bled through. So, I'm gonna waste some of it over here, pull some of this color straight down. Bring it over here. Again, this is just, I'm trying to, in a previous painting, I tried to actually create like the lines and like make divisions of the bricks themselves and do layers of paint where I, you know, where it's more pronounced on the, on the inside. And I just, I fiddled around and I ultimately was not happy with how it came out. And so I figured I'm just gonna try a whole different method altogether. And I'm not gonna be as precise See, I'm already got a little bit of bleed there, but I'm not gonna worry, I think that's gonna be okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of my color bricks up here, because it kind of is, over there, and over here as well. I've got bricks there. Are there any on the top? There might be one or two, you know? Maybe on the real castle there isn't, but on my castle, there is. I've got a little more color to use here, and I'm gonna try to get the uh, uh, the window frames. And I'll do this one down here for fun because I just I don't want to be too lonely there. And then my Other spots, yeah, I'll do this one over here. That'll be. Oh, you know what? And I forgot. I've got some uh, some brick over here that I want to hit. I've got a splatter I'm working around, but I'm gonna just muddy that right up. I don't care. I think that's actually okay. And if I have any color left at all, which I do, I'm gonna pull this right across the top, just for a hint of color there. Now that's ultimately gonna be my brick red, but I'm gonna create a line there. All right, any others? Oh, you know what? I wanna hit my, this is gonna be my cross up here. I'm gonna do this really, really fine. Enough. Okay. So I've got my my yellow brick. Now I think what I'm gonna do is while I'm waiting for 
some of these colors to dry. I'm gonna work on the roof below. Now, this picture, I mean, really the whole thing, it goes all the way out. There's a whole other building over here. This goes down, there are windows and all kinds of stuff. I'm just zooming in on one little piece of it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create the rooftop here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of, a little bit of black and I'm just gonna grab some water and lighten it up. Use my test paper, make sure that this is not too dark for my myself. That's pretty good. And I think I'm gonna bring this right across here. I don't want to hit that chimney because I would like to have that chimney a slightly different color. I'm going to make it like a brown. So I'm going to pull this down. I don't want this to start to dry on me. I want to Doesn't need to be perfect, but I do want it to be a little bit tight. And then I'm going to go and bring this roof over here. That's good. I come across and down. And look at you with that little yellow splattering there. And just want to get that peak. Boop. All right. And then that's going to be. So I got a roof over here I want to hit too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some uh, some nice textures. I'm going to I'm going to darken this up a little bit now. And I might even create some uh, I'll pull some brown. Just creating a little bit of, um, I don't want the whole thing to be all one color. I just want to have some color. I want to have some uh, some highlights here. Maybe just, just a smidge. Give me some more brown. Just a little bit more brown here. And what I'm going to do is now that I've got this kind of pure brown mixture, I want to go right for the chimney. I want that chimney to be to be truly brown. I'm going to switch up my brushes, get a smaller one. Pull that color down. Some darker side there. Boop. And a little too much, so I'm just going to take a drier brush and pull that color right back out again. Just kind of let that color settle at the base as sort of a shadow. That works for me. And then, oh, you know what? I've got a spot for some more yellow on that chimney over there. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the brown, mix it with the yellow over here create like a little, like a dirty, like a dirtier, sort of a brownish yellow color. This is an old chimney over here and it's seen better days. <laughs> Again, I don't care as much about the, um, I want it to be a little bit, it's got some soot on it. Well, I don't care as much about the colors on the outside of the painting because really I'm just, uh, your eyes already kind of going off the page there, so I'm not as worried about that, but I'll do a little bit on the top there too to kind of give it some. Get some 
soot there. Now I'll put some over here too. Just kind of muddy that up and get some color. Again, you're just you're just having fun. You just want to throw a little bit in there. You're not doing too much. All right. Now, 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 now that I'm, most of my color up here is dry, now I've got to create my brick. Now, I gotta, I'm got i going to be honest with you, I'm a little scared. Excuse me, I'm a little scared of this. I'll take some red. This is a really, really bright fire engine red. I'm going to add in some purple. Oh, that was too much. Put some more red. And grab some brown. Again, I'm going to use my test piece. That's the whole point. You want to get an extra piece. That's, you know, I like that. That's nice. That's a nice red. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and use what I've got, what I've just made. And uh, I'm going to start on this side over here because I, if I mess it up, it's not going to, it's not going to kill my painting. It's coming in pretty, uh, pretty light. I'm gonna have to darken that up a bit. That'll be okay. I'm gonna go a little more red, a smidge of purple, a smidge of brown. Check my test piece. That's really, really purple. Grab some more, some more red. That's still pretty purple. I'm gonna do some more with the red. I'm just gonna grab a whole glob of it. I think I overdid it with the purple. And then maybe just grab a smidge of brown. Do it that way. That's nicer. It's like an earthier red. That's more, I think, of what I'm going for right there. And I think I'll start working on this. I'll get a smaller brush here. Start working on this inside, inside this structure here. Now I'm gonna go to my tower. This is coming in a little bit lighter than I thought, but that's actually all right because I'd ra I would much rather have it be lighter to start and then have to darken it up as I go. That's a way better problem than when you come on real, real hot or real, real bright, and then you have to you gotta back off. Well, it, well actually, I, I should say there's really no way to back off. If you come on too, too much, there's, there's really no way to fix it. You, you've ruined your painting at that point. And so really all I'm doing is I'm just creating this illusion 
I might even, uh, oh, I just kind of went overboard, but that's all right. I might pull out the old, uh, the old pen to create some, some lines, some brick lines there. And again, you're trying to create bricks. So, I mean, really the point is, uh, you know, they're gonna be different. You know, not all the bricks are the same, the same color, same shade. That's all right. I don't like that I went too far on that. That's all right, that's actually okay. In the end, I think that will look okay. What I can do, actually, this is kind of a neat little touch, is you can, um, once it begins to dry, you can, um, you can load up your brush, with just a little bit of color, wait for it to dry, and then, um, when you do that, you can actually create, like, a little, like little lines like this. I don't know if you can see that. It's very, very faint. It's just so you're like you're you're just like scratching basically. What you do is you you put color on, and uh, and then you just the color on your brush is kind of dry already, and so what you do is you're just you're kind of just scratching. It's little bits of color, and it just creates kind of this this multi-layered uh, thing happening. I'm gonna put a little more brown in my mixture. Dry my brush. Just go. Like on the video, it looks kind of, kind of splotchy. But I'll tell you, in real life, I, I'm really liking this. I think it's all right. I might, um, I might in the end actually find a way to I might just touch up some of these these colors here. I think when that dries, it'll be nice. Oh, I forgot to do my, uh, my little steeple there. He's got a, that, this has a, a light blue piece on it. A little bit of green. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do um, to do this building over here. This building is also. But again, I'm moving away from the center focus, and so I don't I don't care as much about my lines over here. 
So I'm just kind of grabbing some color. I have more brown on this one. I'm going to go down like this. Yeah, that's a good uh, a good start. You know what I'm going to do for the sake of style? And I didn't do that with the yellow, which I want to. I think I'm happy with this. This works. And yeah, thanks for watching.